we get time for one more. And there's uh, fantastic music on this stage all day long. Yes. And then we're going to finish up at like 6.15 tonight. Yes. Hopefully there's some of you good people still here. Yes. You know, yes. way back in your cars Woo! and going home. Yes. And leaving us all alone. Oh. And lonely. We tried like the so wee hard Scottish hard. gypsies we are. <laughs> Listen, it's tradition that I read this out every Sunday when we play this festival. I love this. <laughs> this is from a local man, Jim Stone. May he forever be shamed for this. <laughs> and he lives very local. He's like in one of these houses that are kind of surrounding the festival site. And he wrote this on the Business Rant and Rave Facebook page, St. Augustine. Nosy book, as I like to call it. <laughs> Listen to this. It's beautiful. The Celtic Festival is a crime against humanity. I can hear it from inside my house. And it's one of the most horrifying, terrible, and awful sounds I have ever had the misfortune of being forcibly objected to. If you're going to set up... <laughs> Uh, if you're going to set up the loudest speaker in the world, don't give the microphone to an effing retard <laughs> with a bagpipe. <laughs> don't give the microphone to an effing retard with a bagpipe while his buddy counts how many extra chromosomes he has by beating a drum. <laughs> In a sequence to the most sonically unpleasing rhythm known to mankind. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Mr. Jim Stone. He's a local. Make some noise for Jim. The first response to that on Facebook was, suck it up, buttercup. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you like what you hear, we have everything Albanac over there. We've got the CDs, the T-shirts. We've got hoodie sweatshirts, but we only have like 3XL. But put it in the tumble dryer, it'll shrink. My wife does it all the time, so I know it works. And we'll see you back here at six o'clock. We're gonna finish up with Hooligans Holiday. Thank you so much. <laughs>